there. Today, I want to give you some tips for keeping your Canva looking tidy and organized. One of the first things I do when I log into Canva is come over here to, I'm on the home screen, and then I'm at my recent designs. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the recent designs that you've worked on. I like to change this to the grid view, so click on that. Then you can see a little thumbnail of all of the things that you've created. It makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. I like to keep my projects in a folder. And one of the ways to tell if it's in a folder yet is if you scroll through these projects, you're going to see right here, this tells you the folder that it's in. So if your project is not assigned to a folder yet, then you're gonna to wanna to come in here, go to these three dots, and then move to folder. And if you don't have a folder named yet, then you're gonna create a new folder, name it there, and then that moves that to that folder. I do have a folder for this one, so I'm going to say move to folder, and then I'm gonna type in the name of the folder, and then say move to folder. And I can do that with all of these. Whenever I open up a project, this bar over here pulls up lots of suggestions of what I can use, and I think it's a little overwhelming. So what I like to do is come over here to this little triangle arrow and click it, and then it makes a nice open canvas for you. Whenever I create a new design, I always name it right away, and I share it with the people that are working on the project with me, and I put it in a folder, and I'll give you an example here. Okay, so I'm gonna create an Instagram post a square size. I'm going to come right up here and give it a name. Once I've given it a name, I'm gonna come up here to this plus sign next to my picture or your initials, whatever you have up here in the corner. And then I'm going to make it so my team can edit it. Otherwise, members of your team that are working in Canva with you aren't going to be able to see the design that you created. The next thing I do is come up to file and I put it in a folder. So I'm gonna say save to folder and I'm going to put it in my Instagram folder and save it there. Something else I like to do to keep my Canva nice and tidy and not overwhelming is I like to star the folders that I use a lot. Let me show you how to do that. So click on the folder that you're using and then come up here and star it. Over here on the left side bar, you're going to see the different folders that I use a lot. And you can also drag and drop them to be closer to the top if it's something you use. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna drag that one to the top there. Here is the top Instagram tips file that I had open earlier. And I will not make a copy of this, make a whole new document. What I like to do to keep things organized is I just duplicate this design by clicking right here. And now I can change this title to whatever I want to, and I can just export this one Instagram post rather than the whole file. You do that like this, you hit download, then come over here and select just the page that you want to do for shift it. X off of that, and then click the two. Page two is the one I wanna do, and then I can download just that page. Here's another example. So I have this one. Let's say I have a quote right here. Um, I'm ready to add a new quote. I just duplicate it like this, then add in my new quote. I can change out the photo. And again, I can export just that. And another thing that I do is if I have all of my Instagram posts and my designs together, now since this is one, the next one to post, I will drag it to the front. And then I know that that one I'm posting next, and this is what my grid feed will look like. So once you get a lot of posts in here, you're gonna be able to kind of curate what your feed looks like according to these designs, rather than starting a new document every time you create an Instagram post. An easy way to organize your folders, go to all projects, and then you're going to see your most recent designs. You're gonna see your folders here. You're gonna see all your designs like this. And I'm gonna say show more. I'm gonna check these boxes, the ones that I wanna all put in the same folder. And then if you click down here, you're gonna see the folder. Now you can go add it to the folder that you're wanting to add it to. 
If you have your brand set up, you're going to find the brand tab over here on the left. Click on this. I have it set for my brand colors. You can see my colors here and my logo is here as well as the fonts that I use for my brand as well as some photos and you're able to set this up in the brand hub. Every time you click on any text, a box is going to pull up right here. I'm going to click on that and then you're going to see document fonts, recommended fonts, and then if you scroll down a little bit further, you're going to see my brand fonts. Now I can easily select the font that I want to use from my brand. And down here it says change all of the PT Serif to Prada and I'm going to do that because those are the fonts that I want to change it to. Now it changed it throughout the document. Okay, I hope you found these tips really useful. Just learn one thing at a time. Start implementing one of these tips that I gave you today and you're going to find that your Canva is going to be organized and tidy in no time. All right, we'll see ya.